Hey guys, it's Chris Miller Tech here, back with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be answering the question, what happens if your phone either loses connection with your controller, or your controller shuts off mid-flight while flying a DJI Phantom 3 standard? That's what I'm going to be flying, but this should apply to every other DJI drone also. I've been wanting an answer to this question for a long time. I actually already know what happens when the phone disconnects, because that's happened to me before. But let's see what happens when you turn off your controller mid-flight or it just shuts off. So, let's get into the video. So let's say your app is glitching out, like something like this, and you gotta close out the app. If you'd like to just swipe up, this is what happens. Absolutely nothing. The drone just hovers, and you still got control of the drone, as you can see. I could still control it with the controller. So, I'll relaunch the app. There we go, greet back with the camera view. So now let's see what happens if your Wi-Fi shuts off. So let's say there's some problem with your phone and the Wi-Fi shuts off. Oh no, the app freezes up. No signal, no. But as you can see, you can still control it because this controller is always connected to your drone no matter what, even if your phone is not connected. So here, let me turn on Wi-Fi again. This Wi-Fi turned on. You may have to go back into the app and make sure it connects. And then you can get back into the DJI app. There you go, there's your camera view again. As you can see, it's moving around. So now, here's the big question. Say you've flown way off, far, far away. So let's say you're far off. Like, now I'm way over there, I don't know where I'm at. And uh, you just lose like connection with your controller and it either shuts off or you lose battery on the controller or you just lose connection all together. Well, so if you don't already know, the DJI uh, Phantoms always have this built-in feature that returns them to home. So if you'd lose connection with this, it would first off return to home and then it should land is what I think it should be doing, but I don't know if that's what it will do. So I'm gonna bring it back home first and then I'm gonna shut off the controller and see what happens. Here it comes. So now let's pretend this is far off and I've just now lost connection with the controller. So I'll turn it off here. Let's see what happens. As you can see, the controller is still off. It appears to be landing. It is landing. Landing itself and I'm not even doing anything. And it shut off all the propellers and there you go so now let's see if we're able to reconnect with this now to say this would happen far away and it would land somewhere else let's see if you can gain access to it again we have to go back out and reconnect to the drone Wi-Fi yeah I will obviously the Wi-Fi comes out of your remote controller so when you turn that off or it loses power you also lose the Wi-Fi signal so that's why you have to reconnect there and there we go as you can see, reconnected. Now I'm gonna do this one more time, but I'm gonna fly a little bit further away and see if it lands itself or if it comes and returns to home. So let's take off again. There we go. Taking off. Okay, so I'm just gonna fly this back to my uh, basketball court. So then it has a flat surface to land on just in case like, you know, some problem or if it doesn't return to home, it'll at least land on a flat surface and I'll know that it has a flat surface to land on. we we'll go right above it right now. Now I'm going to shut off the remote controller once again and let's see what happens. Lost signal, disconnected. Now let's just walk back there really quick and see what, what it's doing. I'm gonna leave the controller here. As you can see, it's actually returning to home right now. So, Therefore, it will return to home automatically. Now, will it go to the right place is the question. There we go, right above us. About right where the controller is. Last known location. Should begin to land automatically. And here it comes to land. It's landing very slowly. I think it's giving us time to reconnect the controller. You turn it on really quick. Let's see if it'll connect and stop auto landing. See if I can control it. Yes, 
that is definitive. I have reconnected, and as you can see, you can get it to go up or down, controlling it. Sideways, spin, there we go. So it will land and it will reconnect by itself. So as you guys can see, the drone actually is smart enough to land itself and come back home. If you ever lose connection with your controller or the app, that's not much of a big deal, but if you ever lose connection with your controller and the drone, you can reconnect and it will land itself. So anyways guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if it answered your question, if you ever had the question, what happens if your controller shuts off mid-flight? So if you'd like to subscribe and see more videos like this, make sure to click that button down below even if you're on mobile. And if you'd like to watch my last video, that's up there. My last vlog, that's down there. So see you in the next video. Peace. Stop laughing at me. Preston's over there behind the camera just laughing his head off because I've shot this outro like seven times because I'm so cold.